everybody, it's Craig again. I'm out here at uh, Origins Game Fair in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, it's a fairly well-known gaming convention for the Gamma Group. Uh, and Garrett and I are here doing some demos and just having some fun, just hanging out for the Heavy Gear community. Okay. So this There's Garrett. Update. This is Frank. He goes by VFXX on the web. He's come all the way up from Texas to get some games in with us. He's really up a little bit. This is Garrett's Caprice board. Um, yeah, I can just take a he built that specifically to have something to put his Capricean walkers on. They're over there. I'm a little tied down to a power cord right now. My battery's charging. We'll get some better shots here after a bit. So he's going to take a shoot. But Garrett one. and Frank are getting a demo. He's got a medium auto cannon, which is a little bit better um, damage, but still is basically the same range. Your 12, which is within my uh, optimal range. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 1872 is what I thought. So I Garrett minus one because you're okay. uh, Plus one. Garrett likes round bases on games. Else. So I get a There's three. Okay, I've got a four. You've got a four, so again, you're a little better there. Okay. Your activation. All right. Now you can also oh, snub gun. If you go stationary, you don't have to stay completely still. Yeah. It gives you a plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can move up to one inch. Well. So like. Once my guy, battery gets some charge you can to make it, him go stationary. I'll look around a bit move, more. Shoot him. With get some better angles. And then behind the right now, to. we're gonna close it out for a second. We'll be right back. Okay. I can move. All right. So here I am. I got some battery now. So we should be doing good. Gary and Frank are still playing their demo. Minus one for rear arc, minus one for crossfire. Are you the minus one The ones without movement dice are dead. They just decided not to lay them over. There have been a couple overkilled. So it's five One Jaeger overkilled by the snub cannon. And then in Vengeance. The South End overkilled the snub cannon <laughs> with rockets. Right. And it looks like we just had another overkill there. Then you're out of activations. So it's getting kind of bloody over here. So my activation is to go ahead. While we're doing that, I'm going to come over here. As you can see, there's my HHT. I just kind of finished putting him together today. All the way. He'd been taped and putty, <laughs> like glued them up today. For so those of you who haven't seen this thing up close, it is a massive, massive piece of resin. Incredibly detailed. I love the detail work on this model. All these turrets are free floating. Um, however, the small ones I have actually glued in place that personal, but anybody can make them free floating. The jets, the thrusters are fully articulated on a ball and socket joint that they can roll up and down. Again, I have glued mine into place because I'm fairly clumsy. The rear door can drop. To look inside, we'll pull the top off to look inside there. Full seating for all the grills. You can see if he can get a good shot on this bazooka before it takes him out. Um, see if I can't get a snag one of Garrett's models for a, a scale representation here. Put the cat back on. There we are. This thing is just absolutely beautiful. Hang on just a second. Alright, so let's put some guys down here. Let's scoot him back just a little bit there. We have a standard hunter. You can see how just how big that is. And we have a cheetah. I've got a seven. And then we have a grizzly. Garrett's very nicely painted models there. And this thing is just, just massive. You're out of action. 
Like I said, it's an incredibly beautiful model. Uh, I am glad that I own one. I don't know how often I'll get to play it. <laughs> but uh, it has truly inspired me to play Earth. That's why you see me playing a lot of uh, pack and other hover tanks things. It wasn't until the HHT that got me into that because they're just so nice. All right, well, I'm going to stop gushing over the, the overlord there. <laughs> Come back and look around a little bit more. We're down in the miniatures hall. It's a Friday, and it's still pretty early in the day, so things are still building up. We're in the open gate play area. All these tables that are over here are available for anybody to come in and bring in and set up and show. Gary and I could not uh, commit to anything more than that this year. Over there are the fully organized games. You can see a few different groups. Catalyst, War Machine is over there. And this is just the miniatures area, so it is huge here. Lots of lots of fun to be had. Try not to make anybody seasick there. All right, uh, I'm gonna sign off again in here real quick, and we'll be back in just a little bit. Make the All right, mistakes. it just ended up. The north has fallen to the south a, in the demo. Now, the way our starting scenario was, I was Three Jaegers left. They just brought down that last hunter, well, which is also the headhunter there. Yeah. There's not as so as Frank ended up getting that one. That's the which is, I have a lot of cover uh, initially, which if my guys Once again, shows some nice shots of uh, this beautiful Caprice board. That's, that's what I'm I tend come to come like over here and Moses, still play hard. Grab a wall. Give you guys a little bit better of a scenario. Or show how well that initial setup. So that way, because you know, for most people, the first turn. That's just such a nice manager. Everything. And by turn three. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna do some walking uh, and uh, be back in a second. Telling me how to do it a second. And now we're doing another demo. That young gentleman there is Colin. He's learning how to play. Gary's helping him out, and I'm going to be playing the North versus Colin Zell. So I'm going to take a few shots here. We'll set the camera down. He's already heavily damaged by Headhunter with a light auto cannon. Things are not starting well, but good for Colin. In the Fuller game, yes, you could have used it to do even more damage. Okay, I just dropped out of the. Uh, um, Demo there with Colin there for a little bit because I just talked to Pirate Hat, who's on the board, uh, him and a friend of his. They're actually in Ohio here too. So uh, we're going to see what we can get going with them. It looks promising. Pirate Hat's up in Mansfield. He's working on a campaign, uh, War for Terra Nova. He's got at least four players of his own. And we're, we might take a field trip or two up there and see what's going on. So, uh, didn't get Pirate Head on, on video, though. We were kind of kind of yakking. Uh, so, maybe we'll get him later. But, uh, back to the demo. It's normally 12. Garrett is taking over the north there while I was talking to Pirate Head. The only difference is that if you roll less than a four on your dice, it's marked off. You'll lose that one. They've really mixed it up here. The so, damage hunter over there yeah, that we the saw before game. is now at critical. Okay. So the your plus one yep. did overkill the command minus Jaeger. one to defend. So you get a three. In addition, because I'm more than 90 to Colin's you're dice have not been nice to him. Me, yep. this guy shot. I'm minus two. You still have a little six. I get a two versus your three, and so it just pings off. It pings off the arm. Okay. Okay. This guy's going to activate here. All right, we'll be back in a second. And now for something completely different. Craig and Frank. He's back. They're going to be playing something of an old western shootout where the forces of the south have been conveniently channeled into this narrow gully by the forces of the north. Or the other way around, depending on the way you want to look at it. A little bit of an asymmetrical matchup, but this should be pretty interesting. We'll fill you in once they get started playing, but I wanted to show the start of the board. See you in a bit. So this is Garrett again. They've had their first turn. As you can see, Greg 
has not had the best luck as on the very first exchange, the Visigoth got knocked down to heavy damage. Not been a lot of action beyond that. Most, lots of whiffs and lots of misses. So we're waiting to see what's going to happen. Okay. All right, this is Craig, and I'm going to break in here because Frank has just rolled up, tossed a hand grenade at my top speed Jaeger, front Jaeger there, and stunned him. And then the stub cannon over here at nine inches fires at a total of a minus one to hit me. He box cars, of course. So that's going to be a six. I've got to defend against at a plus zero. Come on. Come on, two. Okay, so that's just a five. So that's going to be 28 points. I lucked out there, and he's going to survive. He loses a sturdy box here. Woo, that was close. All right. And okay, speed. check that. Sorry. I was coordinated fired, so that's a total of a, a minus one. So that's a four to that six. Uh, that's 56. That's three boxes. Nearly overkilled me. I did not look out. It was bad. Bad day. Okay, let's just... Okay, it's all over, except for the smoking. I got thoroughly routed. Um, I was trying to stay out of his camera view. You can you be in the camera view. Uh, dead Visigoth, eight, a railgun, um, multiple overkilled Jaegers, uh, two of them by light pulse lasers, and the third by railgun. Um, I did actually end up doing a, a light damage to the hauler. We did kill the Clem and a Hunter. There's another just regular dead Jaeger. Uh, I am left with the Command Jaeger with a sturdy box. He's just going to leave the board. I mean, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Frank hit my butt. Good job, Frank. Uh, and I'm running short on time. So this is going to be it for my Saturday experience here at Oregon. So I will be back on Sunday. Oh, I'm sorry. It is Friday. I will be back on Saturday. This is the end of Friday for me. Uh, we've been visited by two more demos since since we last saw. Oh no, Colin. Uh, it was uh, Colin was one. We did show Colin playing one. Speaking of Colin, we have another Colin. We recognize him from my regular group. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to sign off here for Friday, and uh, we'll be back Saturday, and uh, we'll see what happens. This is Craig. This is Heavy Gear, and this is Origins. That's what I've actually been using till now. And we'll see you tomorrow. I'm running Marpat.